If you really think about, in each moment of each day, what can you do to create more value for the people that you're around than the value you look to take, it's a different mindset. It's a different way of viewing the world. So uh, it's, it's good to be here. A couple, couple things about um, the introduction. That's a, a paper that someone else wrote about me. Self-made, that, that term is kind of a limiting mindset or just a limiting term because by no means anything that I've done has been self-made. It's been only because I've had the ambition to actually uh, learn and also be associated with great people, like-minded individuals, be associated with mentors, people that you see in this room. Steve Harrop's in the room, one of my mentors. Dean Templin's in the room, another one of my mentors. Just people that have been extraordinary in my life. When I was graduating SUU, um, it was the peak of the economy. It was 99, everything was going great. I had a lot of job offers at the time, and uh, I had already been doing um, kind of an advising role um, even while I was in college. and. I was, wasn't sure what I should do, but these other job offers looked really good. There were some prestigious firms and the names of the firms and some that the, the school hadn't even placed yet. And yet I was being pretty successful doing this uh, entrepreneurial thing and I was really torn and it was a really difficult time in my life trying to decide what did I want to do. And I remember sitting down with Dean Templin and he said, you know what? I think it's pretty obvious. You have a certain passion for what you're doing. You love what you're doing. He says, you're making pretty good money. You're probably making more than some of the professors here. Why would you ever want to go do these other jobs just because of the name behind them? And I thought that was great because in the interest of the university, he could have thought, hey, let's build the university's name with some of these firms. But instead, he saw, you know, I could tell what Garrett really wants, but he was one of the few voices that was willing to say, follow your dream, follow your passion, follow the thing that, that cultivates energy for you. Don't just do something because everyone else in society thinks it's the way to go. From my grandparents to my parents to everyone that was influenced in my life, they thought, you really got to go get this, this secure job and go work for someone else. And you know what? For a lot, of, a lot of us, being an entrepreneur, being an entrepreneurial-minded person that's within an organization is critical and it would be the right path. But for me, I thrive on innovation and creation and thinking of new ideas and new concepts and what can we do to um, expand people's minds and bring new things to the marketplace. And any of those other jobs weren't really going to allow me to do that. So, so I just wanted to publicly acknowledge Dean Templin. I wanted to publicly acknowledge Steve Harrop for just being tremendous value creators in my life and people that I would call producers. Now, producer is a term that, you know, that we've kind of coined. Uh, you know, when people hear the term producer, sometimes they think of like a grocery store and, you know, that little section where you go and buy produce. But what we mean by it is individuals who are committed to creating more value than they consume. If you really think about, in each moment of each day, what can you do to create more value for the people that you're around than the value you look to take, it's a different mindset. It's a different way of viewing the world. I would call it a view of abundance. In the view of abundance, we look around and we see plenty of opportunity. We see plenty of things that can be done. We see ways that we can engage in the world and make a difference. But in scarcity, scarcity, people go around and they think of all the reasons why things won't work, why things are destined to fail, why there's never enough, if they could only have more money, then they'd be happy. If someone else would only give them that great, lucky opportunity, then they would survive and not only survive, they would thrive and be the success that they want to be. See, the scarcity mentality is one of a consumer mindset. And the consumer mindset is so destructive to human nature, it's so destructive to really our ability to love life and enjoy life and be fully engaged and live in a life that we can walk around and say, you know what, I'm happy. If you're in the consumer mindset and in scarcity, it's impossible to be happy on a consistent basis because you're always going to be looking for some external event or circumstance to bring you joy. But instead, if you look and say, what do I have within me? Who am I and what are my abilities? And you engage in those natural talents and those things that you're passionate about and do that in the service of others, especially other people that value that, that's exciting. That's fun. That's where you start to really find happiness. And so it's such a simple, simple equation. It's such a simple concept, but one that if you just pay attention to for a moment and you just think about and digest today can make a difference for the rest of your life. It's not an equation that you're going to learn in your finance or economics courses, but to me it's the key to all finance and to all economics.